Hello and welcome to This Is, where we have a very special guest on the show today, Jake Baldino from Game Ranks. Jake, how are you doing today? I am terrified. <laughs> You're terrified? Well, that is a great place to start because we have a brand new game just for you. So we have a list of 10 famous sound effects from video games throughout the years. So we're gonna look for the name of the game and then for your second point, we're going to be looking for the year that that came, game came out. And we all do have a, a handicap available of plus or minus one year. So if a game came out in 1995, 1994, or 1996 would be a correct answer. I'm gonna need that, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad at years. Some of these, some of these I think you'll get pretty easily. Obviously, as someone who has an illustrious gaming knowledge to pull from. I might be, you don't know that. I'm definitely a fake gamer, so sign me up. Jake, are you ready to play the This Is Video Game Trivia Show? TBD actual name. Let's let's do it. <laughs> Alright. Let's start out with sound effect number one. <laughs> I can hear it. Oh, okay. I don't hear it. Oh, you just spoiled it. God. I also, I, I was like, what the hell is that? But yeah, I, I definitely just saw what that was. <laughs> Off to a riveting start. Jake, would you like to take a, a very wild guess at what that sound effect was that we accidentally just showed you the answer to? <laughs> that might be StarCraft 2. <laughs> well, you know what? Actually, you know what? No, that's not true. Uh, Matt got that wrong. That is actually not from StarCraft 2, that's from StarCraft 1. Ah! Well, okay, you know what, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's give you a shot here. Do you know what year the original StarCraft game came out? Uh, I would say... To, uh, 1999. You're gonna get a point for that. It is 1998. I'm gonna give you one of the two points for this one since the year was correct and the game was cheated and accidentally shown to be the wrong game, Matt. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Matt. I should let you know that you actually do have one lifeline available, which is Phonaken. So at any point, if any of these sound effects are difficult, you can opt to call the wonderfully helpful slash very unhelpful Ken Bolito. So just sort of something to keep in your back pocket there. You do have one bit of help available for you throughout the game. Well, actually maybe two, who knows if Matt accidentally presses the wrong button twice. <laughs> I'm grateful for Ken's guidance. I'm so excited to call him. I know that might sound weird. That does sound weird. Why would you want to call Ken? That usually is like a punishment, not like a, a feature. Is that bad? Is that the wrong answer? Am I not supposed to say that? Sorry. Uh, we, now we have to deal with Ken all day now that you said that. Ego's gonna be so, it's... so big now. All right, Jake Baldino, are you ready for question number two? Let's do it. Now I'm ready. That is music to my ears. That is uh, the Legend of Zelda franchise. That one's uh, Ocarina of Time. All right, that is 100% correct. However, do you know what year Ocarina of Time came out? Uh, 1997? It's 1998, so you get full points on that one. You're off to a good start, my friend. I really am a gamer. This is great. <laughs> All right, let's move on to question number three. What have we got? Ah, that is Crash Bandicoot, of course. Uh, one of my favorite series ever. Okay, Crash Bandicoot. Do you know what year Crash Bandicoot came out? 1996. Nailed it, my friend. I'm afraid we are making this too easy for you. So, as you can see, a lot of these games are sort of titles that we hoped that you had played and that obviously we all sort of grew up playing. So, a lot of sort of the stuff in the late 90s. But what kind of games were you playing? It was stuff exactly like Crash Bandicoot, uh, Metal Gear Solid. I had come into my own doing this stuff, uh, like like playing games and stuff with the original PlayStation. I had grown up classically trained, thankfully, on a Nintendo, but I really became a weirdo when I got my hands on a PlayStation as a kid. Dude, I'm absolutely right there with you. Like, sort of the PlayStation was like sort of my first real console. And yeah, no, I played so 
so much of that PS1. I, I feel like when we were all kids, we got our hands on less games. So you spent so much more time obsessing over one game. Now I can play a brand new game that I absolutely love. And it's still not ingrained in my brain like 1998's Metal Gear Solid, like stuff like that, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. It's crazy how time moves. Well, the good news is for the game, you're doing very well. So you're currently at five of six potential points. All right, let's move on to sound effect number four. Headshot. I need a second. Oh my God. So I know what that is, but now I'm trying to, what game? I feel so foolish. Oh boy. All right. I don't think this is right. But I have to take a guess. I'm so upset I don't know this. Quake? Quake was 1996? 95? So your final answer is 1995 Quake? Lock it in, 95 Quake. Jake Baldino, your gaming knowledge has been impeccable so far. And yet for question number four, you are incorrect. It is from Unreal Tournament in 1999. Oh, that's what it was, of course. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a little bit of a tougher one, right? Because it's, like, it's one of those iconic sounds you know you've heard a million times, and yet it's tough to play sometimes when you don't have any other context around it. And the compressed voice line, that, that old, old school compression on, on those types of lines, I was like, okay, it, it's got to be one of a couple of things being unreal, Quake, stuff like that. I chose, I chose poorly. It's okay, it's okay. You're still very much in the game. So at this point, you're at five of eight points. So all you need to do is hit 50%. So you're still absolutely in the in the green at the moment. All right, I feel good. Oh, well, hold on to that warm, fuzzy feeling inside because we're about to crush it with question number five. Oh. Uh, that is specifically the Doom shotgun, and that is the OG Doom theme from the original Doom. Do you know what year this particular video game came out? Doom was 1994. Jake Baldino, you are 100% correct. It is 1993, but yes, of course, this is Doom, the monster-grown shotgun. It's absolutely iconic. Just powered me. Now I'm like, just hearing a snippet of it, I'm like ready, I'm like, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Well, don't get too cocky just yet, my friend. We still have five more questions for you. But yeah, I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with Doom, right? I mean, what a legendary game. One of my first uh, experiences playing on a PC, back when you had to go to a computer lab. Uh, I didn't have a computer growing up, so I'd have to go to a place and pay a lady $5 and use the computer. And uh, we all played Doom, and it was this big crazy thing. It was like, we're not allowed to play this. This is the bad game. It was so awesome. <laughs> you're just blasting monsters, and there's like the pixelated blood, and you're like, oh, don't tell my mom. All right, let's move on to sound effect number six. That is Goldeneye, and that is specifically uh, selecting things on the menu. What year did this uh, Goldeneye game you speak of come out? Pierce Brosnan, uh, Famke Jensen. Uh, 1997. Jake Baldino, with your impeccable memory, you are 100% correct. That is, in fact, the mission brief from GoldenEye of 1997. Do you remember when GoldenEye first came out? Was this a game that you actually played a lot? Yeah, I had family members that had a Nintendo 64 and uh, we went crazy with this game, but the best thing was the cheats. It was one of the first games I really experienced. It had like crazy cheats, it had paintball mode, it had like big head gorilla mode. It was ridiculous. The thing is GoldenEye shouldn't have been as popular of a game as it is, right? I mean, this is peak sort of back when movie tie-in games were sometimes decent, but oftentimes a little bit more like shovelware. It was one of those things where, I mean, yeah, GoldenEye was, I would say a decent James Bond movie, but I think it wasn't really as popular as I think the game was. I think most people, when they think GoldenEye, they think Nintendo 64 and they think 1997's best multiplayer console shooter. Is that enough caveats? <laughs> yeah, it was actually made by a, a small studio in the UK. It was rare, like in, in rare form. Uh, and they really knocked it out of the park and kind of paved the way for not only Nintendo 64 and doing more mainstream, more licensed style games, but just shooters on consoles in general. Well, Jake, I'm happy to report you are actually almost ready to take the victory. Let's move on to question number seven. Snake, snake, 
Snake! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid, baby. The original. All right. Do you know what year that game may have come out by chance? That is 1998 uh, for the original PlayStation. Jake, you are 100% correct. Yes, of course. I blame Jimmy for giving you so many easy questions. Jimmy definitely threw me that one. <laughs> that was actually specifically Jimmy's idea. You're doing very, very well, my friend. All right. How about we move on to game number eight? Ooh, baby. That is the Lancer Chainsaw from Gears of War. Do you have a year for that particular game? So it was the first big uh, thing for Xbox 360. It wasn't a launch title, uh, but it was a big highlight for the Unreal Engine at the time. Uh, so it was like gonna be this graphical powerhouse. It was really cool. It was creative. It was just like a new third person shooter with cinematic elements. Uh, Cliff Bozinski behind it. Uh, a lot of like Microsoft marketing behind it. So that had to have been, I had to have been um, 2000, uh, 2007, sorry, nope, 2006. Lock it in, 2006, Gears of War. My friend, you have absolutely aced it. Yes, it is Gears of War from 2006. You know, it's kind of funny to think about sort of the way that you're looking at this, because for a lot of the challenges, we're bringing out, you know, sort of pieces of tech or movies or whatever the case is. But for you, I feel like you're really sort of leaning in on obviously your wealth of knowledge that you sort of developed on the channel, but also really putting yourself in that place of like where were you were when that game came out or sort of where it kind of came about in a console's life cycle or anything. It's actually, it's super interesting the way to think about it. Yeah, it's kind of how I've always contextualized things. Like even when we write like notes or scripts or ideas for videos, I can usually kind of place myself in one specific point. That's kind of why I started doing this type of stuff. Yeah, no kidding, man. Well, obviously, I mean, you guys make an incredible amount of videos and a lot of times you do cover sort of older titles and kind of going back a little bit more on the retro side too yeah we uh we definitely go all over the place we <laughs> one of our favorite things is to just highlight those weird games that you'd see at blockbuster whether it was for like ps1 ps2 we love making videos on just those specific weird games all right well you should feel very confident right now you have clinched the tweet still have the ability to take the double nothing at the end but let's move on to question number nine that is a oh boy um uh, a mire lurk whatever the creature is it's a low level creature from world of warcraft and what year did that particular game come out oh boy this is a hard one because world of warcraft had just released and then it's it's hard to pinpoint it because it just became like this big cultural thing that feels like it's just been an institution that's been around forever like mcdonald's or something uh am i hearing 1970 uh was that was that what you said 1970 mcdonald's yes okay go ahead i hung out with a girl in high school whose parents played it and i thought that was really weird so it was it was out when i was in high school i would say that came out at at least in at least 2005. jake your video game knowledge is impeccable. It is 2004, but yes, it is in World of Warcraft. Although, this actually was a two-part question because originally the sound is actually from the original Warcraft in 1994. So, we would have accepted either answer, but of course, World of Warcraft is correct and 2004 is within the handicap. Thank God for that handicap, my goodness. <laughs> so, congratulations, you have successfully broken the This Is game yet again. So why don't we play you the last sound effect and you can decide if you want to do double or nothing. You were almost a jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. So that is um, Barry Burton and Jill Valentine from the original Resident Evil. Do we need to ask what year that came out? Resident Evil came out in uh, 1996. Six. Absolutely 100% correct. Bonus points, even though I'm not actually, I don't have any bonus points to give you for knowing the actual names of the characters as well. Jake, I am very happy to say that not only have you won the game, but you have dominated this with your impeccable knowledge. Congratulations. You can absolutely at this point, give us a tweet. We'll tweet out another photo of my nipples or whatever it is that you'd like and call it a day. Or if you'd like, you can take your still available phone again and go into the final bonus round where you will have to get the question and the year 100% correct. But if you do, you will be able to trade your dusty old this is tweet for a shiny new this is ad spot. You know, 
I think I'm going to take the original prize. Uh, there's, there's nothing I really want to put out there. Yeah, believe it or not, I just want that tweet. I value that tweet, man. Wow, this is the first time someone hasn't taken the bonus round. Okay, you know what, Jake? I will absolutely give you that. You will get the tweet. However, we still have the bonus question. Do you want to take it for fun just to see if you would have potentially gotten the 30 second ad spot? For funsies? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's roll the bonus question. All right. Um, that is a Pokemon. I am embarrassed to say I don't know what Pokemon off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure that's a Pokemon. Jake Baldino. Not only have you shown an incredible knowledge of video games throughout this series, but almost more importantly, you have shown excellent judgment because that is incorrect. You walked away with the tweet. You have gotten that wrong. That is the head crab from Half-Life 1. Oh, stupid idiot, moron. God, I, all right, I just lost the whole game because of that. It's all undone. Quiz, that was a bonus question. That meant nothing. You walk away with the treat. Con congratulations, my friend. That was very impressively done. You made us look stupid. <laughs> but you made me look like a fake Half-Life fan, so I think we're even. <laughs> Jake, would you like to tell everyone how they can find you on the interwebs? Uh, yeah, I am on Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino. Uh, I'm not verified, but I am real. Uh, I'm also on youtube.com slash Jake Baldino, my name. Uh, but on the daily, you can find me doing stuff either behind the scenes or on, on the forefront of youtube.com slash GameRanksTV. Right on, my friend. Well, the last question I really have, do you have a tweet ready for us? I would love for you guys to tweet out that next time we're all together in person, I, I want it on record that you are going to buy me pizza and you and your crew, we're all gonna eat it together. Uh, but you just have to go on record, it has to be locked in. Jake, you know what? You have been a delightful guest. That is so wholesome and nice and wonderful. Absolutely. All right, tweeted. Tweeted right now. Jake, right now, it's live. It's real. Jake, thank you so much for being on This Is. Thank you so much for completely destroying the game. And thank you so much for being a very kind person because I don't want to tweet my nipples anymore. I didn't want to see them, so <laughs> I love you, but... <laughs> Wait, can I still call Ken? Like, on the phone? I have his number now. Can I just call him? Just... I don't mean to call him right now, but just in general. Because you're such a graceful winner, you can call Ken whenever, day, night, whatever. I'm sure he won't mind. Thanks. Okay, good. 